Invite a Budget Blind Style Consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. Blaincott Barons Football Club kicked off the Wheatland Football League playoffs this afternoon, taking on the Bonneville Voyagers. Well, the Barons beat the Voyagers 34-0 in their match during the season here. A high snap to Kirk Hahn. He hands it off to Mitch Anthony and he gets into the end zone. And it's 7-0 for the Barons after the extra point. Now the Barons are going to add to that lead here. Anthony again scampers his way into the, into the end zone there for a major 14-0 for the Barons. Now they're pushing again and it's going to be Anthony for the third time. He gets through the hole, gets his third touchdown of the game and it's 21-0 for the Barons. The Barons they add two more touchdowns and take this game 35 nothing they move on and now face the holy rosary raiders in the semifinals next week we caught up with head coach aaron harper and mitch anthony to talk about today's game a little bit of a sloppy start but we got things figured out we got it all straightened out and uh, uh we were pretty crisp on some things defense played well offense made a couple mistakes but also made some big plays so uh overall not bad we're getting better i thought we played really well defense had a very solid game and Offense came out pretty uh, strong in the first quarter there and started uh, like we want to and got the f first points on the board. So played really well all around, I think. It'll be fun. It's We've uh, corrected a couple things, some some bad adjustments, some bad alignment uh, from the last time we played them, and we'll think we'll be a little more uh, secure. Um, they're, a good, they're a good football team, and, and we haven't beaten them uh, in a while. So uh, I don't think it'll be an issue getting guys fired up to practice or, or motivated to play in the game. So it'll be fun. Um, yeah, we're, we're excited. We can't wait. Well, Lakeland Rustler soccer teams returned to the Border City this weekend. After spending a few weekends on the road, the Rustlers hosted Red Deer College. The ladies, they dropped their match 2-1, and we're going to move on to the men's game here. They're looking to get a win against the Kings. The Kings are keeping the ball in Rustler's end and just applying a lot of pressure. A pass is going to get through the hole here, and the King player is going to walk in, and he rips this one upstairs to give the Kings a 1-0 lead. That would be the score at the half, and we will have the final score for you on the late night. And the Lakeland Rustlers women's team was back in action, the volleyball team I should say, versus the Grand Prairie Wolves. After dropping the first match last night, the Rustlers were looking to get a victory. However, they would be defeated once again, three sets to nothing. The Wolves won the sets 28-26, 31-29 and 31-29. The Rustlers were up, were up in the first and third set but weren't able to hold the lead. The ladies are back in action next weekend for their home opener versus the Concordia Thunder. And the men, they also, they would fare a lot better in their game against the Wolves. After defeating the Wolves last night three sets to two, today they defeated them three sets to one, improving to 2-0 on the season. The Rustlers will also be at home next Friday hosting the Concordia Thunder at 8 p.m. The Rustlers basketball teams have their home openers tonight. The ladies won their first game last night on the road versus the Augustana Vikings 74-44. They are hosting the same Viking team right now. Tip-off was at 6 p.m. They are looking to go 2-0 on the season. Also the men, they are hosting their home opener against the Vikings. Last night they defeated the Vikings 110-61. They tip off at 8 p.m. The Leominster Bobcats are back in action tonight, taking on the Canmore Eagles. The Bobcats, they're going to have Kevin Dara back in the lineup, but will still be short. Alex Pernitsky, Nick Quillen, and Captain Taylor Mulder all dealing with injuries. The Cats are currently on a three-game winning streak. Puck drop is at 7.30 at the Civic Centre. Now sticking with the AJHL, the Bonneville Pontiacs are also in action once again tonight. The Axe hosted the Cal are hosting the Calgary Mustangs and looking for their ninth win in a row. Forward Bobby McMahon is also looking to extend his point streak to nine games. Puck drop is at 7.30 at the RJ Lalonde Arena. Lloydminster Classic Oilfield Bandits are also in action tonight. They are on the road in Saddle Lake taking on the Warriors. The Bandits have gotten off to a good start this season with a 3-1 record, including a 3-1 victory over the Warriors last Friday. Puck drop for that game is at 8 p.m. in Saddle Lake. Well, the PWM Steelers, they wrapped up their two-game road trip this morning versus the Calgary Fire. Nicole Kabelka scored the Steelers' first two goals and they were leading 2-1. The Fire would then add four unanswered goals and have a 5-2 lead before Kabelka would put the hat-trick goal home to make it 5-3. Brooks 
Brooke Weitzel would make it 5-4 as the Steelers attempt to come back. However, a late goal by Nisha German would not matter as the Fire take this game 6-5. The Steelers now return home for a game tomorrow afternoon versus the St. Albert Raiders. Puck drop is at 1 o'clock at the Service Sports Centre. The Bantam female AAA Ice Cats were in action this afternoon, taking on the St. Albert Raiders. The two teams met up last weekend in Lloyd, where the Ice Cats were victorious 2-1. The Cats come up just short in this one as the Raiders get back at them and win this game 1-zip. The Ice Cats are back in action tomorrow at home versus the Edmonton Lightning. Puck drop is at 3.30 at the Service Sports Centre. And the Bantam AAA foremost heat are up in Grand Prairie for a double header. Game one got underway at 4.30 and is still in progress. The Heat are looking for their sixth win of the season and look to stay undefeated. We will have a score for you on the late night. On the one with all the victories around here, Chris Chacon, he's up next with your weather details. Stay with us.